Hello, welcome to a Sports Week special, looking back at the Basingstoke Bison's 2011-2012 season. Before we get started with the action, sports reporter Michael Conley went to meet the players and try his hand at ice hockey. Win or Sports have come down to the Planet Ice Arena to get up close and personal with the Bayesian Stoke Bison to see how their season's gone so far, learn a bit more about ice hockey, and I might even get on the ice myself. I also wanted to find out more about some of the lesser known aspects of the game. A lot of fans seem to enjoy the fights that go on. Yeah. Um, what exactly is it with that? Is, is it allowed? Is it frowned upon? I think, uh, you know, being from a North American background, you know, fighting is part and parcel with, with ice hockey. It's synony synonymous with uh, the sport. As long as nothing's dirty, as long as guys, you know, uh, throw their punches and then when the fight's over, they, you know, they, they go to the box, you know, it, it, it's fine. You know, they're obviously penalized for, uh, for fighting because it is technically not allowed. After looking around the bison changing room, it dawned on me that I had to keep my promise about getting on the ice. So it was time to get kitted up. Alright, maybe I exaggerated a little bit about how good I am on the ice. But after an unsteady start and a little bit of coaching, I managed to knock one past the netminder. Alright, he probably let it in. But anyway, I spoke to Steve to see what he thought. So Steve, um, I thought I had quite a good game. Do you think there's a chance of me getting on the bench on Sunday? Um, well, you know, I've been involved in hockey for, for a lot of years and seen a lot of players, a lot of good ones, a lot of bad ones, and uh, you look good. Uh, you know, you looked very, very good in the Bison jersey and uh, the only problem was when you stepped on the ice. Um, but other than that, uh, you're, you're exceptional. Oh well, I think I'll just have to stick to watching the game instead of playing it. Basingstoke started their season in September with a positive win over the Bracknell Bees, but then narrowly losing out to Guildford. opening from both teams, Marcel Petran put Basingstoke 1-0 up. October didn't begin well for Basingstoke, with defeats coming against Bracknell, Slough and Sheffield. They did manage to get an impressive 7-2 victory against Telford, but this form didn't last and they only got two wins from the six remaining games in October. The worst result being a 7-2 loss against local rivals Guildford. And then Chong got Basingstoke 6th and Dubeck added a 7th. In a very intense game, with a lot of hard hitting, Wiggins got taken off the ice after this brawl with Telford's number 20. In November, the Bison began to get their season on track, with wins over Petersburg, Guildford, Telford and impressively scoring seven goals in their games against Slough and Swindon. They managed to stretch out a six-game unbeaten run, which unfortunately came to an end with three losses at the end of the month against Manchester, Bracknell and Milton Keynes. And into the final last minute, with an extra man attacking on the ice for the Bison, all hope was lost when Faith skated through to get the fifth goal. The game ending 5-2 to Manchester Phoenix. December didn't bring much joy for Basingstoke, beginning the month with a loss against Telford on penalties. Made it with they a long temporarily range, improved their form, Josh getting a win over Manchester, and they were soon leveled but after two Jeremy more losses against Sheffield running. and Petersburgh, it looked like it was going to be a disappointing end Marcel to the year. Marcel Petram put the Bison but back in the league with a one 5-2 victory just inside against Swindon and Guildford ended Tenko their year on a high. The Joe Miller levelled it for the Bison. But Marek Hornack made no mistake for the Telford Tigers, giving them the extra point. Mm -hmm. 
The new year brought some good results early on, with the Bison starting January with a 4-3 win over Petersburg and an impressive 7-4 win over Bracknell. The rest of January is positive for Basingstoke, winning four of their remaining six games. The Bison weren't going to be beaten easily though, and this well-placed bullet shot from Marcel Petram evened the scores and sent the game into overtime. The Bison's netminder Stephen Wall became the hero of the day as these two saves won the shootout and saw the Bison win 5-4. With the good results coming in January, it was looking like Basingstoke could push towards the top of the table. But the inconsistencies that had plagued them throughout the season haunted them through February. They managed to get four victories, the best being a 3-1 win over Bracknell, but losses against Slough, Swindon, Guildford, Sheffield and a disappointing 8-5 loss to Petersburg saw Basingstoke slip into the middle of the table. But the Phantoms weren't finished scoring when Chris Allen got his name on the score sheet. Liam Chong got a consolation goal for the Bison, but that's all it was, when with only 40 seconds to go, the Phantoms rounded off a nightmarish night for the Bison with a final goal, leaving the scores at 5-8. May started the way February ended, two back-to-back -back losses against Slough, and losses against Telford, Guildford and Sheffield saw Basingstoke set in the middle of the table. With minutes left in the game, the Bison subbed their keeper to try and find another goal, but this allowed Luke Brittle to score from inside his own half, closing out the game. They did finish the season on a high, with an exciting 4-3 win against Guildford in their last home game of the season, finishing the league in sixth. Steve Morris stepped up to take the penalty. The Bison only have one more league game before the playoffs and we're hoping for less dramatic win. Henry Lewin tip, Winchester News Online. That brings to an end the 2011-2012 season for the Basin State Bison. Come back and join us in September for the 2012-2013 season and all your local news and sport. Goodbye.